whipping winds there also. Uh, meteorologist Alita Loretska is watching the storm. Here's the latest tropical satellite. You can see a very well-defined eye and also a very big storm, very similar to Irma, where you can see the, the canopy of clouds extending well offshore. Here's the center right between Guadalupe and St. Lucia. Right now, those winds at 130 miles. It is moving toward the west-northwest at 9 miles per hour. And the thinking is by Wednesday afternoon, Still a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds at 150 miles per hour, but even a few of the computer models may show even higher signs of strengthening, could even be closer to a Category 5. The winds have to be greater than 156 miles per hour for it to be upgraded, but regardless, it is going to be a massive storm that's going to directly impact areas like the Domin Dominican Republic, also portions of Hispaniola, and the big question is whether or not we continue to see that track to the north. We're waiting for that northward turn again, guys, once it gets into the Bahamas. Right now, it does not look like Florida is in the mix, but we have to keep uh, informed and we have to watch the latest details on where the storm is headed next. Coming up, we're going to talk about this rain.